Hello and welcome to today's Facecast. Today we're in the Old Testament, the prophet Jeremiah. The people of Israel, of course, had on numerous occasions been persecuted, oppressed. They were in difficult situations and times and the Lord at different times delivered them from that oppression and he restored them. And the book of Jeremiah is all about that restoration, restoring the people of Israel to their rightful place as his people through whom he would work. Do you feel oppressed at all at this current time? Uh, are we without the freedoms we would normally want to have and hope for? I suppose it could well be said that we are because of this virus we're fighting and the, the restrictions that have to be placed upon us because of it. There is a sense perhaps of heaviness, of weightiness, of being under an oppression of some kind. Anyway, this is what the Lord said to Jeremiah, a very brief account of it. This is Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 3. The Lord appeared to us in the past, saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with loving kindness. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with loving kindness. That's the Lord speaking to his people, Israel, <coughs> and therefore speaking to us today. I have loved you with an everlasting love. He will not give up on us. He hasn't departed from us. Whatever we go through, he is still there, waiting for us to call out to him for his help. And when we do that, when we turn to him, we gain strength, an inner strength, which either helps us to overcome the things that we're going through or help us to endure through them. We don't necessarily expect or see the Lord change in everything around us. That might happen, it might not but at least we will gain the strength to endure it. I will, as he says, I don't know if I can see it without my glasses, I have loved you with an everlasting love. So it will never come to an end. It will never stop. He is always with us. I have drawn you with loving kindness. I have drawn you to me, he's saying, with loving kindness. This is the attitude of God our Father. Not as a disciplinary harsh judge. He's that at times. But the heart of God our Father is to draw us to him with loving kindness. The greatest love that he shows to us is sending his son Jesus to die for us so that we might be united with him. I have loved you with everlasting love and drawn you with loving kindness. And it's this wonderful kindness that we respond to by saying, yes, Father God, you are my God in heaven. Yes, Jesus, you are my Lord in this life. Yes, Holy Spirit, you are my comforter who guides me along the way. With these great promises to us and with the right response from us, we can live this life full of hope. Hope for our lives and hope for the future. So even though we're in this difficult, dark time of uh, illness and uh, epidemic, pandemic, disease, restrictions, even though we're in this time, there is hope that we will come through it and have strength to endure it. That's what our Lord said to all the people of Israel all those years ago, and he continues to say to us today, he is everlastingly loving towards us, and he draws himself, draws us towards himself with loving kindness. Hopefully that will encourage our day. See you soon.